Hey, what's up guys? Jeffrey Winston Reed here, AKA Mono Myth. And this is Trail Time Confessions. Episode 13 of Mammoth Tracks. I am live here on the Ice Age Trail. Just, uh, just uh, west of Hancock on the trail. Just got dropped off right around noon, uh, right off of Highway O. And I am currently eastbound. I'm headed south on the Ice Age Trail, just north of the big central loop, which uh, I realized was pretty much all road walking, which really sucks, but got to do it. Um, yesterday, I hit the trail, actually right around the same time, just outside of Cross Plains, and I hiked... Uh, just under 30 miles between, I don't know, 26, 27, something like that. Um, got almost to Lodi and I got picked up on the side of the road by my buddies Daryl and Spencer on their way up to uh, work a wedding this weekend. So I stayed at, stayed at their place or Daryl's place over on Lake Lawrence. It's got a nice little cabin up there, nice resort. It's got some uh, 15 hunting plots on like 36 acres of land. It's pretty sweet. So, got to hang out with the boys last night. And, you know, it's, uh, it's always good to have a nice warm bed to sleep after a, a long hike. Uh, but as you can see, it is uh, currently raining out. It's not coming down too bad. But uh, I am walking due south directly into the storm. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. Uh, we'll see how wet I get today. Uh, but I am looking at getting right around 27, 28 miles today as well. Um, yeah, so hopefully you guys are all having a great weekend. I appreciate you guys checking out my videos and following along on my journey, all the adventures that I go on. Um, so the topic of conversation today is no rain, no gain. And so metaphorically rain, you know, when it comes to the trail is not something that I think uh, most people look forward to um, unless it's super hot and, you know, the rain is used to, to dry or to cool you off. Um, Usually, you know, day hikers or anybody wanting to go out for a hike, you know, tend to steer clear of days that are raining. And if you really think about it, you know, what is rain when it comes to your gains? And for me, rain is an opportunity to push my, my limits, to push my boundaries, to get me outside my box, uh, to scratch the surface of complacency and just to make sure that I am not getting too complacent with my training. And if you think about it, complacency is really man's kryptonite. And if you are getting complacent in your life, you have to ask yourself, you know, why and what is causing you to become complacent? You know, is it a relationship? Is it your job? Are you becoming too comfortable with your current situation? And with training and pushing your limits, you have to constantly put yourself into an uncomfortable situation if you wanna grow. And that's true for all aspects of life. And that's something that I really try to do when I'm out here on the trail. You know, when I first started on the PCT, that first day, you know, six miles felt like freaking hell. My pack was 60 plus pounds. You know, I, I had just come off of shutting my gym down and moving and traveling and traveling to get to Washington. And, you know, I had a bunch of stress. I was dealing with colitis. It was not, not a pretty picture, but I pushed on. And six miles became nine, and nine became 12, 
and 12 became 15 and 18. And finally, I first got my, my first 20 miler, first 20 mile day. And it was pretty cool because I, I had actually hit two milestones on that one same day. Uh, I'd done 20 miles. It was my, actually a couple milestones. It was my longest day of hiking. Um, it was something like 12 or 13 hours to do 20 miles. And I had also hit my 100th mile mark on the PCT, which was pretty cool. It, it you know, really gave me some motivation to keep going. And once you hit that first 20 mile mark, you know, it's like that becomes the standard of, of your hiking. And it, it should be if you really want to finish in a reasonable time on the PCT or any long through hike. You know, that 20 mile mark is what you want to be shooting for every single, every single time that you hike. And when I was on the trail, on the PCT, you know, that 20 mile mark started to become not good enough. Uh, you know, I wanted to keep up with the Joneses a little bit as I was on the trail and hiking with other people you know, the competitor in me wanted to keep pushing and, and keep up with, you know, some of the people that already had, you know, 800, 1,000 miles under their belt. And at that point, I'd only had, you know, 100, 200. You know, when I hit that 300-mile mark, it was, man, I, I really felt my trail legs kick in, and I was able to constantly keep pushing the, the boundary, keep pushing my limits, and consistently you know, get 20 plus miles each day. So now that I'm hiking the, the ice age, you know, during the week, you know, I'm, I'm back home. I'm doing my thing to stay busy, planning my business and my future, what I want to do with my life. So I come out to the ice age trail here in Wisconsin on the weekends to help give me clarity to help give me inspiration to write, to think about my ideas, to plan out in my head exactly what I want for my life and my future. And that's really what I get from the, P from the PCT, from what I got from the PCT and what I get from hiking long distances. So yesterday, a um, lot of road walking, a lot of road walking. Pretty much the whole freaking day was road walking. Um, and pushing your limits, you know, now my, my standard here on the Ice Age has become 25 miles a day. That's what I need to hit uh, to make sure that I'm staying consistent with my training and to make sure that I'm you know, keeping my legs up and keeping my miles up so that I can finish this, uh, this thousand mile club before the end of the year. So, and as far as for what I got time to do, uh, you know, the weekends, long weekends are pretty much it. So, um, if, you know, if there's nothing going on during the week and I want to take a, a longer, a longer span of, of hiking, I can do that. Um, I've been, thankful and lucky to have friends and family and support to help, you know, give me rides and drop me off at the trailhead, which, you know, seems to be kind of weird for the people who don't hike, you know, it's like they drop you off and it's in the middle of nowhere on the side of the road and people are like, really, this is it? <laughs> There's no building? Just let you go off into the wilderness. And that's, uh, that's what I love. I love being out here. I love walking. And I love just being in nature. So, no rain, no game. No gain. And so if you think about rain in your life, you know, what is, what is keeping you from being complacent? You want to try and do completely opposite of that. You know, push your boundaries, push your limits, and constantly get yourself into an uncomfortable position. And when you're hiking, rain is a perfect opportunity to do that. You know, the bugs have not been in our favor on the trail. Um, this has been really the first week 
um, or the first um, couple days of, of August that I've been, been hiking um, compared to July, which was just just full of deer flies and biting flies. And I've been, been lucky on the western part of the state to not have uh, deer flies buzzing around my head, which definitely made the trail not very comfortable, um, you know, when I was hiking. Uh, you know, when I'm out here, I'm constantly meditating as I'm hiking. I'm constantly working through the pain in my feet, um, the tightness in my legs and my calves and my hips. And, you know, I think, you know, my tattoo was 75 hours and I really had to mentally deal with that pain as it was happening. And I think that really helped help build a lot of mental toughness for me. Um, plus playing sports all my life and, you know, just struggling to play and struggling to practice and, and, and constantly training that way. Um, you know, it's, uh, it makes, you know, it, it, it becomes a familiar place for you when, uh, when you come back to it, it's thundering. So I must be hitting, hitting the wall, the storm. Um, so again, I want you to think about, you know, what it is, what it is in your life that is causing you to become complacent and, and what are the tools or the, the things that you can do to get yourself out of that complacency. Um, think about different ways that you can make yourself uncomfortable. For me, it's, it's the trail. Um, you know, it, before, before hiking, um, it was my business. You know, it constantly put me into an uncomfortable position to try and grow. And, and my whole point here is, you know, no pain, no gain. If, if you're not going through the pain of pushing yourself, you're not going to gain. And you're not going to grow, essentially. And really, that's what life is all about. If you're stuck in your life right now, go out for a walk. Get yourself out of the position you're in and it all starts with movement you got to start moving and again for me it was walking you know this is this is my this is my thing this is what makes me feel alive this is what helps me to get inspired and so I use this as a vehicle as a tool to help me progress in my life and to help me to help me grow so that's it for today, guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep walking. Like I said, I got about 27, 28 miles today. And hopefully I don't get rained out. So I appreciate you guys watching and following along on my journey um, as I complete my sections of the Ice Age and will finish by the end of the year. So until next time, this is Trail Time Confessions. Take care.